Once upon a time. They are beautiful and precious creatures that should never be harmed. Is that special teams? More forwards! Epic fail! By mental I don't mean crazy. More like shoot me in the head. Hopefully they know <laughs> what hockey is. Hi, I'm Nikki, this is Robin, and you're watching the Sprightly Puck. Today we're gonna finish up talking about where the NHL teams got their names. So we're gonna be covering the last 15 teams which is Montreal Canadiens through Winnipeg Jets. Montreal Canadiens. So you may have noticed that the Montreal Canadiens actually spell their team name with an E at the end instead of an A. Originally, the Canadiens were supposed to be the team for French-speaking Canada. So what better name for your team? And their nickname is actually Habs. And that confuses a lot of new hockey fans. So the logo is a C with an H in the middle. That actually stands for hockey. The Hockey Club of Canada, Le Club du Hockey Canadien. But the nickname Habs come, came from Tex Ricker, and he told somebody that the H stood for Habitants, which was a group of French immigrant farmers who lived in Quebec at the time. That was a nickname for those people, thus it was a nickname for the team, and now they're the Habs. Nashville Predators. So in 1971, there was construction in Nashville, Tennessee, and they found the remains of a saber-toothed tiger. They thought, that's kind of cool, and when they were putting together a team, they were kind of thinking of what to name it. So they had some pretty crazy names thrown out there. They were kind of like, we want it to embody that, you know, saber-toothed tiger. So they were trying to think of good names, so they came up with the Ice Tigers, the Fury, and the Attack. The owner kind of looked at that list, thought, mm, there's got to be a better option, and just kind of slid his own option into that whole pick. New Jersey Devils. So the New Jersey Devils, they named themselves after the urban legend, the Jersey Devil. New York Islanders. So New York Islanders also not complicated. Uh, they're based out of Long Island. And so they needed a way to distinguish themselves from the New York Rangers. New York Rangers. Tex Ricker. The owner of the Madison Square Garden decided he really wanted to make his own hockey team. He sent out Con Smythe to kind of do some recruiting for him out west. So the New York City media kind of got a hold of the story and playing on the name Tex, started calling the guys who would be recruited as Texas Rangers, T-E-X apostrophe S. And he really liked that, thought it was really cute and funny. He just went ahead and named them the New York Rangers. Ottawa Senators. No one's really 100% sure, as far as I can tell, where the name came from. Because originally called the Ottawa Hockey Club. And around 1902, 1903, they started going by the Ottawa Senators as a nickname. And then once that team closed down and a new Ottawa team came up, they just went ahead and called themselves the Ottawa Senators. Philadelphia Flyers. So the Philadelphia Flyers, of course, were came out of another Name the Team contest. The name Flyers actually came from the hockey team's owner's sister-in-law. And they actually don't remember why there was a Y instead of an I, but they just know that she submitted the name Flyers and as because they seemed to fly on the ice. The Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins were actually another name of the team contest. At the time, they were playing the Civic Arena, and the nickname of the Civic Arena was the Igloo. One of the guys in management, you know, sitting there thinking, oh, wouldn't that be funny? Penguins playing in the Igloo. <laughs> San Jose Sharks. Again, another name of the team contest. They wanted something that would kind of represent their part of California. In that area, they do a lot of research and education and preservation of the different uh, shark species. St. Louis Blues. The St. Louis Blues were actually named after a song, St. Louis Blues. Tampa Bay Lightning. So Tampa Bay, they're the lightning capital of North America, so I guess that seemed to fit. Their nickname is the Bolts. Toronto Maple Leafs, not Leafs, Leafs. So the Toronto Maple Leafs were actually named by Con Smythe. Uh, the official version is that it came from a military regiment. Vancouver Canucks. Canuck is kind of slang nickname that is given to Canadians, but it really started out as kind of a term for people who didn't speak English, especially French Canadians. So they kind of just went with the whole nickname Canuck, and there you go. Washington Capitals. Uh, the Washington Capitals, another name the team contest. The Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg has a big history with the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force. Thanks so much for watching. But see the end of our video for our contact information. Follow us.